Okay, final subtopic, which is on thin lenses. Okay, in this subtopic, you should also be able to sketch the ray diagrams with a minimum of two rays to determine the characteristics of the image formed by both concave and convex lenses. Lah. Okay, so this... Um, so and then you also have to be able to use thin lens equation so this is only for real object lah. so positive focal length for convex negative for concave lens okay and then you'll have to be able to state and use this uh, lens makers equation lah. lens makers equation okay so this should be attached okay so this is the lens makers equation and lastly define and use magnification okay uh, so basically in this subtopic there are mirror spherical surface and lastly lenses thin lenses okay that's why you are looking at it like uh it kind of i mean it has the same formula but then you have to apply it differently lah, for different types of the different types of uh situation lah, okay now so thin lenses is defined as a transparent material with two spherical refracting surface whose thickness is thin compared to the radii curvature. Lah. So there's two types, it is convex and concave lens. So this is these are the types of thin lenses. So this is known as biconvex, which is converging lenses. And then this is plano convex because uh the other surface is flat and the other one is convex. Lah. And then this one is why isn't the name there? This is actually convex meniscus, lah. Okay, all right. Now, uh, this is diverging lenses. So this is concave lenses, lah. So this is biconcave because both sides are concave, and then plano concave because one side of this is plano or flat, and then concave meniscus because both of these are concave, lah. Okay, so these are the terms of thin lenses: center of curvature C one and C two. And then the radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere. Lah, okay, and then principal ataupun optical axis is this line here. And then the optical center, which is the center, uh, which is the point at which any rays is entering. Lah. Okay, now focal point and focal length for thin lenses. Pula. So point F1 and F2 here is representing the focus of the lenses. And the small letter F is the focal length of the lenses. Lah. Okay, again, the relationship between this focal link and radius of curvature is also this one here. And then the focus point F1 and F2. So for convex autopon converging lenses, uh, the focus point is defined as the point uh, on the principal axis where rays are parallel and close to the principal axis converge after passing through the lens. Okay, so for convex lens, this is the focal point where it converge at a point lah okay so that is focal point and then for concave ataupun diverging lens define as the point where rays seems to diverge okay so diverge from after passing through the lens okay so they diverge kiranya dia punya focal point di sini lah okay all right so now focal length uh, is defined as the distance between the focus and optical center of the lens lah. okay Alright, now convex uh, and con uh, convex lenses. So this is the ray diagram. Uh, so the red line is the how you draw it is firstly you are gonna go from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis and passes through the focal point. Okay, focal point number two lah. Okay, and then uh, the Focal passes through the focal point. Okay, kalau concave lens pula, it it kind of like appear from the focal point lah. Okay, so the concave dia punya F2 is this side which which is the same side of the object. Whereas for convex, it is the opposite side lah. Right? And then the second ray is green color. So this, is pass, this one is just passing through the optical... Uh, center of the lens lah from the top of the head that is very straightforward so you can just remember these two lens two rays lah if you have problem memorizing it all okay and then the last uh, line is just the one that passes through the first focal point and then reflected uh, parallel to the principal axis okay all right so now images formed by a concave lens 
uh, is virtual apart diminish and form in front of the lens lah. Okay, so this is for concave lenses. And then for convex lens, there, so there's a lot of it. So these are some of the, uh, apa? the ray diagrams. Lah. Okay, so make sure you are able to draw. Depends on this situation here. And also remember the image characteristics of all this. Lah. Okay, so if you are able to memorize all of this table, it is easier for you. But actually, if you understand how to draw this ray diagram, it would be much better. Lah. Okay. Alright, now thin lens formula, the, the lens maker's equation and linear man magnification's equation. So, uh, I'm just going to go through this. Do I need to? Don't actually need to explain this to you. So, I think I would choose to skip this. And you have, I mean, you are able, you will be able to understand this from what I've written here. Lah, okay. So basically, the lens maker's equation is then this one here, lah. Okay. Um. So again, the n one, which is the the first refractive index, is for the medium, and then the second one is for the lens material, lah. Okay. Uh, that's very straightforward. And then lastly, linear magnification. Uh. So basically, it's just this equation, lah. Okay. And then it can also be written as the one shown here. Okay. Right now, combination of two lenses, for example, uh, two lenses are combined for a microscope and telescope, so they use two converging lenses nah, in order for, to produce an image. Uh, and then in both instruments, if you look at a microscope, the first lens, which is closer to the object, is known as the objective lens, and then the second lens is known as the eyepiece at the the ocular. Okay, so the image formed by the first lens is the object for the second lens and the final image is formed by the second lens. Okay, so they're basically interconnected. Lah. And then the position of the final image in a two lens system can be determined by applying the tint lens formula to each lens separately. Lah. Okay, and then overall retinal magnification produced by a two lens system is basically this one here. Alright, what else? Okay, so that is the theory part for our last subtopic.